वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेज बाई विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास एलेवंथ केमिस्ट्री यूनिट फोर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मोलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट बॉन्डिंग इन सम होमो न्यूक्लियर डाई एटोमिक मोलिक्यूल्स एज पर एम ओ टी एम ओ टी मीन्स मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी हाइड्रोजन मोलिक्यूल एज वी नो हाइड्रोजन मोलिक्यूल इज फॉर्म बाय द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू हाइड्रोजन एटम्स Yeah, like this, and each hydrogen atom has one electron and one as orbital. Okay, now see this diagram. This hydrogen atom, one electron and one as atomic orbital. This is another hydrogen atom, one electron and one as atomic orbital. When these two atomic orbitals combine. they produce two new molecular orbitals and these molecular orbitals are sigma 1s and sigma star 1s we can say this is bonding molecular orbital and this is one is anti bonding molecular orbital now its electronic configuration of h2 this is sigma 1s2 okay now bond order this is nb minus na divided by 2 nb is the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and n is the number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital and these two are the electron present in bonding there is no electron in anti bonding this by 0 divided by 2 and this is one bond order of h2 is one magnetic property this is a di magnetic okay from this diagram you can see that there is no unpaired electron that's why this is di magnetic in nature now consider the this ionization process this when h2 loses one electron then this will convert into h2 plus okay then what will be the electronic configuration of this h2 plus this will be sigma 1s1 okay and bond order is this is 1 minus 0 divided by 2 that is equal to half now this contain one one electron and that is unpaired that's why this is paramagnetic in nature now again you can also consider this ionization process when h2 gain one electron then this will convert into h2 minus okay then what will be its electronic configuration this is sigma 1s2 and now third electron will enter sigma star 1s okay that's why this is sigma star 1s1 now bond order is number of electron in bonding molecular orbital 2 minus number of electron in anti bonding that is 1 divided by 2 and this will be equal to half okay bond order of h2 minus is also half now this contain one unpaired electron in this anti bonding molecular orbital that's why this is paramagnetic in nature now question arises H, <coughs> you can say H2 plus and H2 minus, both have bond order of half. This is half, and this is half. Now, which is more stable out of H2 plus or H2 minus? Answer is H2 plus is more stable. Okay, how can we explain it? In case of H2 minus, there is a one electron in anti bonding molecular orbital which destabilizes H2 minus. While in case of H2 plus, there is no electron in anti bonding molecular orbital. That's why it is more stable. Okay. Now next come to the helium H2. E Now see this diagram. This is one atom of helium. Two electrons are present in one as atomic orbital. This is the another atom of helium. Two electrons are present in one as atomic orbital. And when these atomic orbital will combine again, two molecular orbitals are produced. This is sigma one s and this is sigma star one s. Okay. Now what is it? Is what its electronic configuration? Its electronic configuration of H e two. This is sigma one s two. and this is sigma star 1s2 now bond order is again nb minus na divided by 2 that is this is 2 minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 0 and when bond order is 0 it means he2 molecule does not exist similarly it can be shown that be2 molecule also does not exist 
if we write the electronic configuration of BE2, this will be sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, and its bond order is bond order is number of electrons is bonding molecular orbital. That is, this is 2 and 2, that is 4. And electron in anti bonding molecular orbital again 2 and 2, 4, that is 4 minus 4 divided by 2. And this will be equal to 0. That's why BE2 molecule also not exist. Li2 plus lithium molecule. The electronic configuration of lithium atom is 1s2, 2s1. Okay. And in Li2 plus, there are two lithium atoms combined. That's why total number of electron in Li2 plus are 6. That's why the electronic configuration of Li2 molecule is this is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2. You can also see this is the energy level diagram for Li2 plus. Okay. Just try to understand this diagram. This is one atom of lithium, 1s2, 2s1. This is another atom of lithium, 1s2. 2s1 when this is 1s of this and 1s of this will combine it will produce two molecular orbital sigma 1s and sigma star 1s and both are completely filled okay and when 2s1 of this atom and 2s1 of this atom will combine again we will get the two molecular orbital sigma 2s and sigma star 2s but out of these two sigma 2s is completely filled and this sigma star 2s is vacant okay that's why its electronic configuration can be written like this now above configuration can also be written as kk sigma 2s2 as in the bond formation inner electrons are not taking part that's why this we can write kk now what is this kk this is kk represents the closed k shield okay and this is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 this represent kk now, Li2 is diamagnetic because there is no unpaired electron and this is a stable. And Li2 molecules are known to exist in the vapor phase. And this is the bond order for Li2. This is Nb minus Na divided by 2. This is 4 minus 2 divided by 2. This is equal to 1. Now, come to C2 carbon molecule. The electronic configuration of carbon atom okay this is 1s2 2s2 2p1 there are 12 electrons in c2 as each carbon atom contains six electrons that's why in c2 there are 12 electrons and then we can we, we can write the electronic configuration of c2 molecule like this this is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 after filling sigma star 2s electron enter pi 2px2 and pi 2py2 is it clear and now again this that is inner cell k cell can be written as kk that's why this is kk sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2px2 pi 2py2 now bond order is nb minus na divided by 2 now count the number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbital these are 2 this is 2 4 to 6 and to 8 okay this and in anti-bonding anti-bonding you can say 2 and 2 4 8 minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 c2 is diamagnetic because there is no unpaired electron and this c2 is a detected in vapor phase now again see its bond order is 2 its bond order is 2 that is double bond is there between carbon carbon but if you see the electronic configuration of this C2 molecule, we can say in C2 molecule, double bond in C2 consists of both pi bonds. Remember, both pi bonds. Why? Because of the presence of four electrons in the two pi molecular orbitals, this one. Okay? That's why generally we have discussed that pi bond is exist along with the sigma. But in this case, both bonds that is double bonds are pi bonds come to nitrogen molecule 
and 2. The electronic configuration of nitrogen atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Now, in each nitrogen atom, there are 7 electrons. It's why there are 14 electrons in N2 molecule. If we write the electronic configuration of N2 molecule, this is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, pi 2px2, pi 2py2, and sigma 2pz2. And this can also be written, actually this first shell, that is K shell can be written as KK. That's why this becomes like this. Okay. You can also see this diagram. This represent one atom of nitrogen. This represent one another atom of nitrogen, <coughs> and this N2. This is sigma S2, sigma star. Sorry, sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, pi 2px, and pi 2py. Both contain two two electron each, and sigma 2pz again two electron are there. Now bond order. Nb minus Na divided by 2. Nb, number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals are 10. In antibonding, 4 divided by 2. This is 3. There is a triple bond between two nitrogen atoms in N2. Now, just consider this N2 plus species. This is obtained by losing one electron and from N2. That is N2. When this lose one electron, this will convert into this one. Now its electronic configuration is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, pi 2px2, pi 2py2 and sigma 2pz1. Just see, in N2 molecule, this is sigma 2pz2. When ionization process will occur, one electron from this is lost and we will get this one. Now, this is paramagnetic. N2 plus is paramagnetic because there is one electron, one unpaired electron. While N2 is diamagnetic because all the electrons are paired. Now, bond order of N2 plus, this is Nb minus Na divided by 2. Now, electron in bonding molecular orbitals are 9. In anti-bonding, 4 divided by 2 will get 2.5. Now, just compare the bond order of N2 and N2 plus. Okay. That is, bond order of N2 is 3 and N2 plus is 2.5. Bond order is decreased in this ionization process. Why? Because in this ionization, electron is lost from bonding molecular orbital. That is, sigma 2pz. Okay? If you see the calculation for bond order. In bond order, we are writing Nb is 10 in case of N2. While in case of N2 plus, the Nb is 9. That's why there is a decrease in bond order. Now come to oxygen molecule, that is O2. Each oxygen atom has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. There are 8 electrons in each atom. That's why in case of O2 molecule, there are 16 electrons. Then we can write the electronic configuration of O2 molecule. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2. This, this will be, sorry, this will be wrong. This is only sigma 2s2 this is sigma star 2s2 now again see if you compare with the nitrogen in case of oxygen sigma 2pz has lower energy compared to pi 2px and pi 2py okay then after that pi star 2px1 pi star 2py1 then if you write this closed cell as kk this is kk then this is sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2, pi 2py2, pi anti-bonding or pi star 2px1 and pi star 2py1. Now again calculate the bond order, half of the nb minus na, and this is equal to 10 minus 6 is equal to 2. Bond order of O2 molecule is 2. Now this electronic configuration you can also see in this energy level diagram. Okay. Then again, if you observe this energy level diagram, there are unpaired electron in anti-bonding pi molecular orbital. That is pi star 2px and pi star 2py has one, one electron which are unpaired. That's why O2 molecule is paramagnetic. Again, remember, this paramagnetic nature of O2 molecule cannot be explained by using 
valency bond theory according to valency bond theory there are all electrons are paired that's why it should be diamagnetic but practically it is determined that o2 molecule is paramagnetic and this paramagnetic nature of o2 molecule is explained on the basis of molecular orbital theory okay now again consider this ionization process when this o2 is converting into o2 plus okay after losing one electron then write the electronic configuration this is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 and again this is sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 sigma 2pz2 pi 2px2 pi 2py2 and there is only one electron in pi star 2px okay because the electron present in pi star 2py is removed in this ionization process now again calculate the bond order this is half of nb minus na this is half of 10 minus 5 is equal to 2.5 now again compare the bond order of this O2 and O2 plus. O2 bond order, bond order is 2 and O2 plus is bond order is 2.5. Now there is increase in bond order in this ionization process. Now how can we explain this increase? Now this is increased because in this ionization process electron is removed from anti-bonding molecular organism. Is it clear? That's why this there is an increase in bond order. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe my channel to get the new videos from this chapter.